Happy New Month. It's the beginning of September, and in many parts of the world, it's fall. We do not experience fall here, but we have something similar. At this time of the year, it gets very windy, and the trees begin to shed their leaves and flowers. Many people like to leave the leaves on the ground. They will eventually rot and nourish the grass. But I love a clean lawn, so I do clean it every day. It's lots of dry leaves and flowers. I usually just keep them together with the rest of the compost and eventually they will be manure that we will use in our garden. I've been in the village for a while now. A friend of mine called yesterday just to check up on me. He didn't know I had actually relocated to the village fully. He was so shocked I did this. The first question he asked is, Jail, is it that bad? Is life that hard that you decided to go to the village? And I laughed. I laughed so loudly. Why couldn't he just believe I made a choice to move to the village? And I was not forced by any circumstances to come here. I realized people have a very wrong perception of village life. To most people, it's a place you go when you have nowhere else to go. To me, it is paradise. I enjoy every bit of this simple laid-back life. I love that I don't have to hustle so hard and keep up with deadlines. It's a slow life, the life I have chosen. So I've invited my friend over. He's planning to visit. I just want to prove to him that it's not that bad. That we can bloom anywhere life plants us. And that the perfect life is not always in the city. But in this quiet, serene village, little heaven of ours. I have some harvesting to do today, but first, I want to prepare the dough for the mandazi. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I don't want to interfere with my morning program, so I'm preparing breakfast this early. Mandazis can last that long. My favorite mandazi recipe is the half cakes. By now... If you've been watching me, you all know that. So I'm going to prepare some and they're so quick to prepare. So I'll just prepare the dough, then I'll head out and harvest. This is one of the recipes I have done over and over again. So I don't even need the measurements. I do it off head. And it still comes out perfect. In case you'd like to try out this recipe, there's a video I did on this. I will link it up so you could uh, try it out. So in case you're allergic to milk, you can always use water. And uh, you can skip the eggs if you're also allergic to eggs. I always add the grated lemon back, but today I don't have any, so I skipped that bit, but it still tastes great. So in case you're trying this out, I just wanted to remind you that I use all my ingredients at room temperature. So I'll just wrap it up in some film and leave it uh, for about 30 minutes as I go out to harvest some pumpkins. Then we'll be back to cook.
the weather is quite cool today it looks like the rains will be coming up soon we are really really waiting for the rains So I've had a very good harvest of pumpkin from last season. I think I've uh, eaten quite a number of them. I've been making pumpkin soup. I've used it to cook uh, chapatis and different recipes. So as much as we are experiencing a dry period, I'm so happy I had a harvest, a good harvest. So I'll go ahead and fry the mandazis, then we can enjoy some evening tea time. It's an English thing, but here we still do the evening tea quite a lot. I don't know if you do, please let me know. So by the time you come back after leaving the door for some time, it should be a bit raised. So this is the perfect time to cook when it's raised. As I was cooking, the power went out, but I still managed to cook. We have a solar lighter that we use when the power is out. It's time for the evening tea, and I've been quite busy throughout the day, up and down with different chairs. So I'm going to use this time to catch up on a few things on social media. This is also the time I use to reply to your comments, questions, and any messages I have. I just want to thank you all, my subscribers, and even those who haven't subscribed, those who are watching my videos. Thank you for the likes, for the beautiful comments. I'm also learning a lot from you guys Please keep the likes and the comments coming. I really, really enjoy reading them. And the likes give me some mileage with the algorithm. So please keep liking, keep commenting.
thank you guys for watching and thanks for your support it's been amazing hanging out with you bye bye for now i'll see you in the next cheers